Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scalding hot dog shielding the lapsang Sushon, the Assam, the Earl Grey? What is the tea? It's piping hot. Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, so today we are here for a slightly strange video. Now this is a little bit different, and I actually don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but one of my followers a little while ago sent me a screenshot of the Claire's accessories like piercing information page and said it was actually quite shocking what they were saying. And of course, at the time I was like, oh, I need to make sure this is real. So I double checked everything um, and then I kind of just forgot about it. But it came to my mind today. And so today I want to go through the Claire's piercing FAQ kind of section to show you the stuff that they say to people about piercing guns and cartridges compared to needles. Trying to fact check this one was like, I was like, this has to be a joke. Like surely there's some kind of like, oh, this has been edited or something, but it's actually real and I'm so shook. I could not believe it. Of course, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you are new. And yeah, and of course, yeah, come check out my second channel extra really for some more vlogs and behind the scenes stuff. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush watley and get on with this. <gasps> video. So this is the Claire's, this is the Claire's website. You can see it here. Claire's, the, the, the official Claire's website. This is, you know, this isn't like me taking it like a screenshot. It's the, the official website. Um, so first this is here. What is an ear, what is the ear piercing process? And they said, getting your ears pierced at Claire's is safe, sterile, and easy. Now that's a laugh in itself, and I'll explain in a second. Our highly trained specialists provide touch-free piercing experience that uses single-use sterile cartridges and requires no needles. Our equipment is sanitized before and after every customer. Our piercing specialists will walk you through the entire process for helping you select your earrings to position your piercing to co coaching you on the piercing aftercare. Now, as it says there, it sounds quite nice, but if I can find the video, I'll put it here, but I remember that that we watched a video from like it was like an official Claire's uh Instagram, but they were like sh walking you through like the piercing process and it was like this is what we do This is what we do, but I remember them So when you when you do like piercing when you do like a piercing you wear gloves so You got to make sure you protect like like anything anything that, like involves any kind of surgery or like piercings or tattoos You wear gloves obviously to stop you know help protect against germs now There was a video that they did and it was like this is the piercing process now I remember they had this drawer of like where all the piercing things were. And they just opened this drawer and there were these two loose gloves just kind of like in this drawer, like amongst everything else. It wasn't like in like a box because normally when you have like a, like a, like a, I'm trying to find something I can show. Normally we're going to use this little roly box that one of my subscribers gave me. Just pretend this is like the glove box. Normally with gloves, it's like the glo bit of the gloves stick out and you pull them out. A bit like, like toilet tissues. You know, we get the tissues like, you know, Kleenex and stuff. That is always how it is. So you take one out and they're not loose. Then, you know, they're not, they're not going to get contaminated by anything. But they were just like in this drawer, completely loose in this drawer of like things. Oh, that's not good. I did react to it on my channel when it, when that came out. It was about a year ago. So if I can find it, I'll put it here. But if, if not, you just have to take my word for it. This is what we saw. This isn't sterile. This isn't clean. I, even, I remember saying in the video, I was like, by you posting this, you're making yourself look stupid. This was a bad idea. Um, it's so unclear. Like, it was just weird. I don't understand, like, why they posted that. So to say here, getting your ears pierced at Claire's is safe, sterile, and easy. I was like, but it wasn't sterile. That wasn't sterile. What you just did was not sterile. What type of piercing systems do you use? We use an industry-leading high-quality system designed to provide a sterile experience. Again, not always from what I've been heard. As well, also, what I want to point out as well is, over the time I've been doing these videos, I've heard so many testimonies from people who've worked from Claire's, like, across the world about how the training process was, how it was basically just like they were training, like using bits of cardboard and they would just go and pierce someone. I'm just going on word of mouth. So this is all allegedly, I can't necessarily prove that this is fact, but I don't see why so many people would tell me very similar stories. But like, I've heard so many testimonies from like ex people who've worked it, Claire saying that their piercing training was like, like piercing a few pieces of cardboard or piercing like a plush teddy. One thing is that a touch-free piercing instrument that avoids direct contact with your ear, although they're touching the ear all the time. Like I've seen, again, we, again, we've reacted to many things of like them grabbing the ear or like the thing, the gun's getting stuck or like the cartridge is getting stuck like and they're touching it and pulling it things. So that's not, again, it's not true. An automatic and secure, automatic and secure placement of piercing back on the earring post for ultimate comfort after piercing. But the thing is piercing, pi the piercings that they use when you get like a, uh, like a 
butterfly clip on the back. People keep saying to me, why do I hate butterfly clips? Normally when people use butterfly clips, it's because it's been used with a gun or a cartridge or like one of those piercing staplers. Like, and all the time with these bars is they're never ever big enough to accommodate for swelling. I have seen so many things over the years of like them using these cartridges. And it's literally like, there's like th this much room for swelling. There's never enough room with these things for swelling. So the amount of videos that we've seen where these butterfly clips are being like dug out the back of people's ears because it's just swollen and there's no give. There's no, there's no space for the swelling. So it just ends up eating the ear, like eating the bar, sorry. Like it happens so often. I've reacted to so many videos of people who've been to Claire's and to been like other places that do like piercing guns and cartridges and stuff and just seeing them like eat the bar. Awful. Like if you've got piercings in your ears and they've healed and then you want to put in a bar with a butterfly clip, like that's fine. My biggest hatred of them is because they're used normally from the get-go when the bars are just not big enough to accommodate swelling. So, so much of it gets eaten. So that's my problem with butterfly clips because normally it means that the piercing has been done by the gun. So here again, as I said, like how a piercing specialist trains, just like each associate is required to complete an extensive ear piercing training program before becoming a certified piercing specialist. You being able to use a piercing gun does not make you a piercer. You are not a piercing specialist. You, are, you know nothing about piercing people when you can just use a cut or a gun. You are not a, like, you are not a trained piercer. Like that's just, not, that's like saying someone who learned how to stuff some ink in their skin with a biro ink with a bit of a needle going, oh, I'm actually now a professional tattoo artist. Like, no, you just learn how to do that one thing. Doesn't make it good. There's nothing good about piercing guns or cartridges. Like you've learned a, a, a method of piercing that isn't, good. You're not a piercer. You are not a trained piercer. You're, you're person who, you're someone who's just learned how to use a piercing gun or a piercing cartridge. You are not a piercer. And that is the truth of the matter. So this is a newer thing I'm pretty sure they added. Can I get my nose pierced at Claire's? Because I remember there was a whole thing for a while that they didn't and then all of a sudden it was back. Like, you can get your nose pierced at Claire's. Do not get your nose pierced at Claire's. Like, that is terrible. It even says the nose piercings are available select stores in the UK, European Union, and Quebec. So I think in America, maybe you can't, but may, like in the United States of America, I'm guessing in America, maybe you can't then, but yeah, you don't get your nose pierced at Claire's. That is the, like, you shouldn't get your ears pierced, let alone your nose. Don't do that. And here as well, it says, when can I change my piercing? A new piercing is, is exciting and we know you all want to try new styles. However, it is important to give your ears time to heal before changing the ear piercing. Correct. Low piercings, if you're using a standard aftercare lotion, it usually uh, it is usually necessary for six weeks before changing your earrings. With rapid aftercare cleanser, you can usually change your earrings after three weeks. Never change your piercing after three weeks. Never. N your, your piercings cannot be changed after three weeks. It's just not at this, like, speed healing or the speed stuff is not a thing. Like, do not change your piercings after three weeks. Don't, don't, don't. You are asking for trouble. You are asking for trouble. Do not change your piercings after three weeks. And I don't want people in the comments to be like, I did it and I was fine. Good for you. There are people who take drugs and don't die. Doesn't suddenly mean drugs are good. Oh dear. Just because you have an experience with something does not mean that is the experience. So, so you can see, this is the Claire's website. This is their normal thing. There's no, you know, there's no, this isn't me screenshot or something. This is literally the Claire's website. Um, First of all, it's the types of ear piercings and it just shows different types of ear piercings. What I will say though, is this one here says it's called a spider bite and it's like a double piercing there. But when you think spider bite piercings, like this is a spider bite piercing. It's like a two piercings on the lip. I've never heard of a double ear piercing like that being called a spider bite piercing on the ears. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's something actually I didn't know. Is that true? Like piercers in the piercers in the chat here. Like, is that real? I've never heard anyone refer to ear, like a double cartilage piercing, a spider bite like that. Also, don't get two piercings that close to each other on, on in, with with a cartridge gun in one go with like net like in your cartilage. What? This is not going to end well. But this is the part that I want to highlight on here. So it says piercing instruments versus needles. Notice the thing instruments now instead of saying like piercing guns. If you're considering a piercing, you may be wondering about the main differences between piercing instruments and needles. Piercing needles are hollow with a sharp tip. Needles are designed to pierce through the ear to create an opening and are versatile enough to be used for both body and ear piercings. As the earring is not attached to the needle, it will have to be inserted into a fresh piercing afterwards. The person piercing the ear would need to use their hands to complete the piercing, so it should be noted that it is not a contactless process. Now, before I read the rest of this, the wording of how they have worded that is it's like 
This is a scary thing to do. This is a bad... The needle is sharp that is going to create an opening in your ear. The jewelry is not attached to the needle. Therefore, it'll have to be put into a fresh piercing afterwards. They would need to use their hands as if like, it's like a dirty thing. Like the way that they're wor wording this is to like to make you worried about using a needle. There is no way in hell, any, any, any way that using a gun or a cartridge is any better than using a needle. This is a bad, this is bad. Using a needle is the best option for you to get piercings. When you use a piercing gun or a cartridge, one of these staples, all it does is force the jewelry into your ear and rips your ear open. There's no space for it to create, it just literally tears your ear open. The reason it needs to be sharp is because it needs to go through seamlessly and to create an opening as a hollow needle that then creates the space for the piercing. So especially on like your cartilage, when you're using these instruments, it basically shatters your cartilage. It causes tears, micro tears, and it can cause you to keloid a lot fat, like a lot easier. Your healing process will be so much longer. They talk about using their aftercare blood method and being like, oh, fast healing. If you use a gun on your ear or a cartridge on your ear, your healing process is gonna be so much longer than if you use a needle. And that goes for earlobes too. This idea that like doing it with a gun or whatever is better is just 100% false information. Liar! The way that they've worded the whole part about using a needle is they've worded it very specifically that it makes you feel like using a needle is bad. Piercing instruments are a little different. They are much easier to use and don't require needles. Our piercing instruments use single-use sterile cartridges and avoid any direct contact with your ear. They allow for greater control and precision. That is not true. That is jet you for greater control and precision during the piercing, making them a great option for anyone getting their ears pierced for the first or fourth time. Lies. Also, the piercing and earring insertion is done at the same step, allowing for quicker pier piercing process. The instrument automatically loads the butterfly back and the jewelry can be worn post healing period. Here at Claire's, your health and safety are important, liar. Which is why we, are st we, we strictly use piercing instruments and single use cartridges. That is, it's just balmy. I see this as basically a child has gone to, because realistically, the people who are getting the ears pierced at Claire's are gonna be kids. Yes, you see some like, slightly older people sometimes, but the majority of things, like all the videos that I've reacted to on here are basically like teenagers, no older than maybe 16. Like they're always young. I am just picturing like a kid going to their mum or something and being like, mum, mum, please can I get my ears pierced? We'll go to Claire's, it's blah, blah, blah. And the mum's gone on here and read this and gone, oh, it's awful. We can't let you use a needle. No, we have to go to Claire's because the way that they've worded this is to be so piercing guns and piercing cartridges is the best way to go because it's quick and easy and contactless and you don't even use these a needle. Needles are scary because they are sharp. And like with this gun, with the cartridge, you won't need to even touch the ear. It doesn't go anywhere near it. It doesn't do it. No, but when you use a needle, they have to put this jewelry through a fresh piercing that, you know, that's going to hurt. They, they going to have to touch your ear, which is going to be dirty, which is ridiculous because they use gloves. The whole point of using gloves is to stop cross-contamination to actually keep you safe. I am so mind boggled how they can say this and get away with it. It is not in any way, shape or form more precise or you get better precision using a piercing gun or a piercing cartridge or a piercing stapler, any of these things, you cannot get more precision using that than you can with a needle. That's just false. Like just, it's just false. Using a needle is the best option to pierce you. Even if it's just an earlobe, a needle is the best way to do it. You are gonna get it 100% in the best location, the best angle, more precision using a needle than using a cartridge or a piercing instrument, as they want to say. It's just false. So as I've said, the way that they've worded this, they really worded it carefully to make you think that using a needle is terrible and this scary thing that you should never do, but using their instruments is the way to go. So you have to come to Claire's because we're trained piercing professionals with an extensive course that trains you how to be a piercer. And it's fast and easy. Piercing yourself should have a sharp object that can go in through the skin without causing damage. Like, but, just forcing a blunt object that isn't sharp through your ear is going to do you so much more harm than good. And I just, I, I, I find it so perplexing how they can say this with such confidence as if like, yeah, we're right. Yeah. Wrong, sir. Wrong. So this is what was sent to me. This little section here was what was sent to me. When I first read this, I thought it was a joke. 
I was like, this is a joke, right? This is a joke. Nope, it's real. But as I said, from all the years I've been doing these piercing videos, I have seen so many demonstrations and so many actual just just full on videos of people in Claire's accessories going absolutely wrong because the piercer, piercer doesn't know what the hell they're doing. The guns are getting stuck. The cartridge is getting stuck. Things are getting like wrong or like they're in wrong angles. They're done in the wrong place. Or like people piercing their like gloves through or people piercing through masks. Like these people are not trained. These people are not trained piercers. They're trained in using a cartridge. That They're not in any way, shape or form piercers. You take one of these people and go to a piercing studio, they will not get a job because they're not piercers. A lot of this is alleged information that I've got from people all across the world. So again, I can't prove this, but I've heard so many horror stories of people who've actually worked there and actually told me what the process of this like piercing extensive course is. And I'm sure it might differ across the world and different regulations and things, but it just doesn't sound good, sis. Absolutely not. It's also not a sterile environment, just like sitting in this like little chair, because it's the thing like, it's never like, when you go to a piercing studio, you go into a specific room designed for your piercing. It's in a sterile, sanitized environment. There's, it's just you and the piercer. Like you go somewhere, you don't just like sit in the center of the shop with people all around you. Cause we have one by our house and the piercing, the where you get pierced is literally, the door is like here. You go in and the, it's, the piercing place is just right here. And the signs all being like, Free piercing there. It's gross, gross. Ew, ew, ew. So you go in and like you're sitting in front of everyone. People are walking back and forth. People are, you know, people are coughing. People are doing all, like there's no. When you get an actual piercing, you should be put into a sterile room with just you and the piercer or maybe someone to let you have a friend in with you, whatever. But like most of the time, at least in my studio, you go in on your own, you go with the piercer. The room is clean. The room is sterile. There's not things everywhere. It's just like a, quite a relatively sort of like empty room and you sit down in the chair or whatever but obviously different methods depending on where you're getting your pierced but you you're there on your own but in Claire's you're in you're in you're essentially just in with everyone else there's not really a real I'm sure there might be some difference in some different places but you know even the Claire's that's on Oxford Street you go in you go in and you just sit on the side where everyone's kind of walking you're on yeah you're on the side but people are all around you going like doing their shopping and it's just that that isn't a sterile environment so I just find it weird that even after all this time that they can still proclaim that like, it's fine, it's not okay. It is much easier and don't require needles. Piercing should require a needle. The fact that you're saying that as if it's like a good thing, like you should not be forcing blunt objects through ear cartilage. So I know this video is a little bit shorter than normal, but I just kind of wanted to go through that and actually show you what this is the stuff that they're trying to get you to do. I know if I can do anything on my channel, it's to really, I really want you to know like the truth about a lot of this stuff. I you know I feel like I do feel like sometimes I kind of, be, you know, beating a dead horse. Uh, oh shit, I didn't do any of those things. Just don't go to Claire's for your piercings. I don't care if they're cheaper. I don't care if, if you're scared. I don't like, it, it, it's completely irrelevant. Like you should, like these are not people that you want to go making holes in your body. Go to a trained professional body piercer go to an actual piercing studio which is meant for piercings and again yeah because i'm always one of the things i'm always asked in over the years i've been doing this is like how do i get my piercing to heal better how do i do it and like you just have to keep it clean and leave it alone you can't just like spray something on it and all of a sudden it's healed in two days rather like this isn't yes you could take medication things like take if you take like ibuprofen ibuprofen helps swelling sometimes if you swelled up you use ibuprofen you can use swelling that might decrease the swelling but it's not going to heal the piercing faster like anything like you can't just heal things faster because you've just decided you want to use this like spray like it doesn't like that doesn't work like it doesn't work anyway this has been a weird video i hope you've kind of enjoyed it i hope some of you find it a bit more informative again as i've said some of the stuff in here is just speculation i can't prove all this is allegedly um, a lot of the stories I've been told, again, I can't really prove them, but, you know, I don't see them as lies. The stuff that I've witnessed myself through actual videos, I believe it. But, you know, some of the things that people have told me are all alleged, but I just, yeah, I find it hard to disbelieve some of it. Yeah, again, I've not made anything up. I've literally just read off their website. I've not changed anything. I've not edited anything. I'm literally just reading directly from their website. So no one can claim that I'm trying to like change the reality or, you know, spin it a different way. I'm just reading directly from their website. Anyway, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Come follow me on all my social medias and make sure you do check out my second channel where I upload updates, vlogs, and some behind the scenes things. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video soon about how I had a fight with this woman today. Um, it was a very interesting, interesting day we've had today. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs>
all that stuff, yeah, my social media links are down below. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Unique Mum 99 Welcome to my Twitch. If you'd like to come follow me over on Twitch, it's Rolly West over there. We stream multiple nights a week as well. And if you maybe if you come follow me and you could be in the next Twitch shout out. A lovely shout out also to my Patreons, whose names are on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being my Patreon. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Doreen Apina, Miranda Hart, Athena Barrington, Hunter Portwood, Erin Grace, Jennifer Herman, Zoe Severe, Helen McFarland, Christina Carl, Benjamin Baker, I at Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are delicious. There's a link down below if you'd like to come a top tier Patreon too. Anyway, I'll see you for another fabulous video. Be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And then a bitch that they say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.